Hey guys, it's Grace. Okay, it's really loud out here. I don't know if you can hear all the noise. But let's talk about college. So I put a couple weeks ago on my Instagram like a question thing. Um, and I have some good questions here. Am I in focus? Okay, let's just start. I go to um, UVA and I'm almost done with my first year here and I'm in Sigma Kappa because a lot of the questions were about rush so I guess we'll start with why should people rush so I wrote like notes on my phone about it okay so um, first you meet so many new people even like people who ended up dropping later in the week they said they met a lot of people throughout the whole rush process because you're put in little like pie kai groups to like walk around at each house with and then another thing was that you learn how to comfortably talk to strangers and know how to like make friends i guess like i feel so much more comfortable talking to people i don't know like i can keep a conversation with a stranger just like by practicing because like a lot of rush especially in the beginning is like small talk because it's like a like fast round and stuff like that um it's also a way to get out of your comfort zone and a way to get more involved in your school especially if um, your school is like big on Greek life or if you are big on like the social aspect of college then it's a good way to like know what kind of social events are going on you also have your own social events if you're in a sorority and then if you're big on philanthropy this is a good way to get involved in it in your school um, each sorority has like their own cause that like they focus more on next question is what are some essential things for your dorm so for me um i think it was having slippers so first i had like the ugg slippers like house slipper type thing and then i got for christmas like the furry yellow ugg slippers and i wore that everywhere like not just in my dorm but also it's just so comfortable you just like slip them on and it's easy to like walk around your building or like um like when i had to go get water i would just slip on those and like go down there or like even the dining hall which was like across from my dorm i would walk in those slippers and them. so yeah it's those were good um i use my microwave a little bit and definitely a reusable re reusable water bottle or a Brita that's helpful um, I recommend getting Febreze since like you can't have candles in your dorm just to like keep it smelling good and then for me this is like a personal thing obviously you don't need it but um, like sometime during the semester my mom ordered me a weighted blanket from Amazon and it just helped me fall asleep so quickly and it also just like feels good so I don't know just that's like a personal thing <laughs> and then definitely a card holder for your phone because um, at least for my school our student ID gets us into everywhere like you can't leave without it you always have to have it on you um, so like this was not <coughs> oh my god so this is nice obviously because I bring my phone everywhere so I always have my cards on me okay back to rush someone asked why did you decide to rush and how's your experience and basically like a summary of recruitment week and things like that so first I wanted to rush because I wanted to meet more people um, first semester of college so like we rushed in the spring semester so like January um, first semester I was mainly like trying to adjust to college life obviously like making friends if I could like in my classes I made a few friends with people but I didn't like get involved in any clubs first semester and things like that and I just knew I wanted a rush um, and so the overall experience I actually really loved rush um, just because I was saying like I now I'm more comfortable talking to strangers and things like that um, and also like I don't know. Okay, wait. Well, it was terrible on one hand just because it started snowing one of our days and I think like raining and stuff. And it was some days were really cold and 
I just remember one day I was wearing like heels and like this short romper and stuff and I was like I could tell I was getting sick from like talking so much my throat was hurting and like being in the cold like every single day walking everywhere and actually the night before bid day I got the flu and so I was in the ER literally the d night before bid day which is funny I have some pictures I'll put in um, but I thought the experience was good um, I kind of I had no idea what it was like going into it. I had no idea what the conversations were going to be like or how it was set up or anything. But once you go in, you kind of get a feel for how it is. Like, after your first couple houses on the first day, like, you get how it is. And in the beginning, I could tell there was, like, s some houses where it was just, like, small talk. Like, the boring questions. Like, oh, what are you majoring in? Where are you from? Like, what year are you? That kind of things. And then there were some houses where I would have, like, genuine conversations about, like, our similar interests or like funny stories that happen to us or like things like that and then like those are the houses that I ranked higher and they ranked me higher and so I actually got called back to all the houses I wanted to and um, it was definitely hard cutting down after like the last few rounds because I was stuck in between two different ones like really big it was like a hard decision but I love SK and I just kind of knew just like the conversations I had on um, prep day was I just like kind of knew but overall like just rushing in general was like really good for me okay so next question is any advice on how to stay on top of college apps Okay, so, um, I kind of did mine last minute, but <laughs> I would say try to make, like, little goals each week on what you need to get done, like, according to your due date and your deadline. Um, like, the supplemental essays and, like, your big personal essay, it's better to do it over time so that you can get feedback from other people on it. Also, I asked my teachers for, like, college recommendations the end of my junior year like before summer so that they have the whole summer to get it done because I know a lot of people ask like beginning of senior year like rush to get it in and then the teachers are like overwhelmed and they don't have time to do it all so I would ask in advance and then also what I did so I did not know besides UVA which was my top school I didn't know where else I wanted to go so I took a day like before I did any college application kind of things and I just like researched a bunch of different colleges and I made like a Google Google Docs like listing them all and like their requirements and like things like that like their supplemental questions and things and then that's how I like organized myself and then that's how I broke it down the next question is your favorite part about college um, I think my favorite part is the amount of free time that you get to do whatever you want it's definitely in your hands if like you're getting your work done or like if you want to socialize with people like that kind of stuff but I like making my own routine kind of each semester it obviously changes because like you have a new set of classes at different times but you get so much time to plan what you want to do with it um, someone asked how do you balance school sorority friends and health okay so first I make sure I go to my classes as best as I can and try my best to keep up with the homework and the readings even if the readings aren't technically due which I found like most they don't make it like a sign due like they don't have reading quizzes and stuff but like you have to know the material for like any upcoming tests but I try and keep on top of that because like the readings are a lot and then I usually try and get lunch or dinner or both with my friends that's like a good way to like spend time with them and catch up on whatever day you have and I actually had like some classes with my friends so like we would walk plan to walk together and then after class we would either go to the library or like a study lounge in our dorm and study together for a little bit so like just like little things you can do with your friends obviously if you have friends that like goof off while you're trying to study like maybe don't study with them but my friends we have like the same priorities so like yeah as for health walking to class and like walking all around grounds is like obviously really good exercise you don't even notice how much you walk 
Um, but I tried to like take time out of my day to go to the gym because it was like right across the street from my dorms. And I do that after I've done like a little bit of homework or the majority of my homework, at least started it so that I know that like I'm I have stuff done now I can like focus on like what I want to do which is like my health and then afterwards like finish other homework that I have and after working out I usually have more energy so it's like a good like in between type of thing it's really about time management so like if you know you have a lot of big sorority events coming up I like take that into account and plan my weekly schedule like my daily task based on that like if I know I'm gonna be busy Thursday Friday Saturday I'm gonna do well in general I don't really really do homework Thursday Friday Saturday after I'm done with my last Thursday classes Sunday is like my big catch-up day so I'm at the library all day long um, preparing for next week I make sure to like I try not to fall behind so like Sunday is like my reset day for the next week like everything has to be done that needed to get done that week like on Sunday and so um, according to my social schedule I guess you'd say I'm making sure that I get my work done regardless of it and so what I learned is like sometimes you can't do it all like um, some days I have to sacrifice going to the gym if I have to study more and I used to get like really anxious like a lot of anxiety when I like skipped the gym like in high school and stuff because I had like a routine but honestly like it's like what matters to you um and I'm walking so much every day so it was like it was fine I just had to like learn that but someone asked what is it like going to college with your high school bestie um obviously I love it definitely it was comforting in the beginning because at least I knew like one person um also a lot of making friends in, co in college is like through your other friends so like whoever friends she made and whoever friends i made like we try and like introduce each other to them and just your circle grows bigger once you like through your other friends i don't know it was definitely comforting because like yeah basically i just love it so someone asked what did you pack that you wish you didn't and what didn't you pack that you wish you did um <clears throat> So in my dorm, I had my own bathroom, so I brought a Swiffer, but I did not need it. I never used it, I don't think. The things that I really am glad that we had in our room, me and Samantha, was the printer, a vacuum, definitely a vacuum. Um, everything else that I brought, though, was, like, I didn't not bring anything that I didn't need, so, yeah. So go check out my move-in vlog if you want to see the things that I brought, and maybe that'll help you. Um, okay, so someone asked, what is my study routine? Um, as for my study routine, I go to class every day, and then after the class, I'll go straight to the library or a study lounge and work on some of the homework that I have to do. Um, and then I go get dinner with my friends, and I go to the gym. And then I'll either go back to the library or just study in my room depending on like what time it is and finish the rest of the homework that I have. Um, as I said before, Sundays were my grind day. I would be in the library from when I woke up t around like 1 p.m. until like 7 or 8 and then I would go to chapter. So like that's also like I guess how I balance my uh, academic and sorority life. My big ass, do you like your big? Yes, of course, I love her. So we like met after I was already in the sort. We didn't know each other like beforehand type of thing. Um, she was one of my heart sisters one of the weeks where like basically a girl in the PC above you gets like matched with you and then you like go out on like a, for dinner or something like that just to get to know more people better. And I don't know, we just clicked. And yeah, I'll insert some pictures of her. She's so cute. Um, okay, and then the last question, someone asked, how do you keep a good routine and relatively stress-free? So, after each semester, I get a feel for my classes after like one or two weeks of like walking to them, like going to them, seeing like how much time I have in between each classes, where I am, like that kind of thing. And then, you just kind of, I kind of plan my 
routine around that. I just kind of make my schedule. You kind of like get a feel for the time you have and like where you are and like your friend's schedules if you want to like meet up with them to study or get food and stuff like that. Um, and then as for like relatively stress free, uh, I think like being able to see your friends like during like little times of the day is like it just like brings me happiness and staying on top of things I personally well, I think everyone does like when you're falling behind you don't feel good and so my planner it's from Erin Condren it's super helpful um, I use that like what's it called religiously those were all the questions if you guys have any more questions about college or any advice videos you guys want leave it in the comments below and I hope you guys are good during this quarantine. I'm currently sitting. Oh my god, the lighting is so much better right here. Should I refilm the whole video? I'm really upset. Okay, well anyways, I'm sitting on my balcony because you know, social distancing. And I hope you guys are doing well and you're safe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!